Hi everyone and welcome to Cape Rides. This is the third part in our four part mini series on the BMW E90 3 Series. Today we're looking at Mikael Jacobs 3 to 3i. It's a 2011 model and it's basically a facelift so it does look a bit more sleek than the previous generation. As we explained in the previous episode, this is the fifth generation so midway between its lifespan it's got an update so you could say it's like 5.5 if that makes any sense. But yeah, moving on from that, here we've got the 3 series which is powered by a 2.5 litre 6 cylinder engine pushing out 149 kilowatts as well as 244 newton meters of torque. This one is mated as well to a 6 speed automatic gearbox. The 3 to 3i is basically the start of the 6 cylinder engine options and it's also smack bang in the middle of the 3 series as far as models go. That kind of makes it both the baby as well as the middle child at the same time. You know, it's the baby in the sense that it's the baby of the 6 cylinder series because it goes up from there and then it's the middle child because you've still got the 318, 320 as well. So out of the 9 different models it fits smack bang in the middle. At the entry level you've got your 320 and at the top you've got your 330, 335 and even the M3 right on top. And this kind of does make it suffer from something called middle child syndrome. And what exactly is middle child syndrome? I mean if you want something like entry level it just goes from A to B no frills, no fancy things, you go for the 320. Want something with more speed or power, go for the 335 out. Why not even go big and go for the M3? So the question comes to you is why exactly would you want the 3 to 3i? The answer to that is balance of course. Balance is what the 3 to 3i is all about. Balance in terms of power as well as fuel, efficiency and economy. And here you've got a car which is not exactly sluggish but doesn't go at breakneck like oh my goodness speed it's not gonna kill you as well in the petrol department the middle child status of this car does actually help it when you are looking for a second hand model I mean this 2011 model which belongs to Mikhail Jacobs has just over 77,000 kilometers on the clock which is quite decent for the year model and for some reason there are not that many of them out as far as looking for them because the 320 is a lot more popular so you might actually find a good one if you look hard enough because the automatic car doesn't really get pushed hard and there's not a lot of people that tend to go for the 3 to 3 i so it's kind of like a niche car but at the end of the day having driven it i can say that it's a it is a nice car not exactly the power that you'd like oh my word it's gonna you can feel it but it's a very comfortable a ride and I would recommend it to anyone who's looking for that sort of comfort and economy. Hi guys, welcome to Cape Rides with me, host Sali. Today we'll be looking at the BMW 3 Series E90 and in this case, the one that we're sitting in at the moment, the 323i. And this is the owner, Mikael. Welcome Mikael, tell us a bit about yourself. How's it going guys? Um, my name is Mikael Jacobs. I'm 22 years old. I'm the proud owner of a BMW E90 3-3. Very nice one. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> it's the M Sport. <laughs> I am in love with this car. Um, it's, I got it in January. Um, it has 67,000 on the clock, which is still pretty new. Pretty mm -hmm. new, yeah. Um, the car is basically stock. Um, I have custom software that I did. So it makes um, it a bit yeah, it so it gives power. it a little more uh, accelerator. You see it's a lot, a little bit more responsive. Okay, and tell us also, um, what is your first experience? Why did you want a BMW? What is that 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 factor that you're <laughs> like, whoa, I need to get myself a BMW? Uh, <laughs> look, I was in, I'm, I'm, I'm a car enthusiast, no matter what car. But there's something about the BMW that just stands out for me in terms of looks and performance. The first BMW I drove, I was 18 years old. Uh, it's fresh off my, li uh, my license. <laughs> and uh, it was my mom's uh, E46 320D. Ooh. And um, it's a nice solid yeah, car. You get the diesel is quite talky. Yeah, so um, I drove that, and once I put my foot flat, uh, I quickly realized I was I was doing 120 in a 60 zone. Ooh. 
and there was a cop there. <laughs> so yeah, that fine. Don't tell came, anybody. Yeah, <laughs> that fine came nicely to me. Um, but after that, the power of a BMW is just awesome. It's phenomenal. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, what do you say, guys? We're just gonna take us for a spin quickly. Um, there's just something about the, the BMW, the daily drive. Like I drive this car every day, and it's just such a pleasure to drive. Such a comfortable and all that. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a U-turn up ahead, and then we're gonna come down. Reset that and go. Really? Oh, that's nice and smooth. Yeah, it's quite nice and smooth. You feel speed, but you don't feel it like, whoa, my goodness, <laughs> it's gonna kill you. It's it's that's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna make a U-turn. Okay, and stop that. So we'll have a look at our times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. We'll have to wait and have a look at that. Go for this run. Automatic. But actually, it's, it's, it's very smooth. Yeah. It's a very, very smooth drive. I think, I think so. driving something like this would make me lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I see no, you know, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, that, that, you don't even feel that there's no kick or anything. You're just okay. We're going. You don't feel gear changes, you don't feel... Yeah, it's quite I, I the, thought quite for, for, for someone that, that's... Like myself, I'm not used to automatic. I thought that there'd maybe be some kind of jerk or stutter that you'd feel around there. But that was actually... That was that, that, that was very smooth. <laughs> Just go around. And now we have lift off. We don't have enough space for a quarter mile. <laughs> okay, that, that was excellent actually. This car, is, this car is actually easy to drive. Yeah. Like really, yeah. You, you don't have to do anything to it. There are a few nicks and tricks you can do if you're going to the track. Mm -hmm. But that's Such just... As? Like, you're, like if you're launching, um, Keeping in the brake a bit, and I wouldn't suggest going over 2,000 revs. If you, um, but I keep it under two. So do you, do you do you do you race with this car? Yeah, I've raced with this car already. Oh. Quite a nice experience.